going on guys this is going to be just a quick video to get a video out there um, but first off I will say that I am experiencing sort of a cold right now so if my voice sounds kind of different uh, sorry about that it might not be as easy to hear but we'll just see how it goes but uh, the first thing I want to do in this video is go back to my giveaway because one of my winners just did not claim their prize uh, well, like I tried to contact them on YouTube and they don't even have a channel anymore so I don't have an email address so I'm just gonna have to pick another winner so I'm gonna do that live right now on camera so I'm gonna go to random.org and the same exact thing as last time 1 through 215 generate 144 okay 10 comments per page 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so I'm gonna go to 7 that'd be 70 100, 130, 140, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, try stand 34. You are now the winner. So, I'll put your name in a little text edit document here. Alright, and I'll be contacting you. Actually, no, you just contact me. I'm sure you'll watch this video. But um, if I don't hear from you within like a day or two, then I will contact you. But um, just make sure that you message me right here on YouTube. Just say, you know, I want the Windows version. I want the OS 10 version. And probably within 24 to 48 hours, I can get you a product key and you'll be fully licensed and you'll be good to go with this video converter. So that was the giveaway. Uh, like I said in my previous video, congratulations to all the winners. Um, I'm glad I, I had so many entries. I definitely want to have a giveaway coming up pretty soon. But I can't promise anything, you know, I have a lot of uh, work to do for school and everything, so we'll see how that goes. But now the second update was all about Apple, like, you know, iCloud. I am running 10.7.2, so, and that was sort of a pain. I actually had to reinstall my DSDT. If you don't know what that means, don't really worry about it. It's not hard, but it was just something that I've never had to do before. So my system just refused to boot. I was kind of like thrown, like I was, I just didn't know what to do. So I just started trying stuff and eventually I got it to work. But if you're running a Hackintosh, more than likely your iCloud will not work out of the box. Um, you'll go to System Preferences, you'll go to iCloud, and it just won't let you log in. It'll say you have the wrong password, or it'll say that you're just not, um, you're not valid for iCloud. And that's because of your, your Hackintosh's serial number. It's not an official serial number licensed from Apple, and they actually check that with iCloud. So you can back up to non-Apple devices. So there's a simple way to edit your serial number, and it's called chameleon wizard oops wrong thing there there's a link below right in the description if you want to download this give this a shot so just uh, open chameleon wizard and you want to go up to SM BIOS this is a file located in your extra folder right here and this tells you the system and um, the vendor is Apple and here's your serial so you could just do many things uh, right from this that it just tweaks your system but little things like that really do make a difference on how all your applications work so just a simple way to edit your serial number as you can see my system it thinks it's a Mac Pro 5.1 that's the 2011 model if I go to more info you can see actually I have it set to mid 2010 here and it still works <laughs> so uh, you can just select pre-made whatever you would like you could have an iMac or a Mac Pro in my case I did Mac Pro 5.1 you're a manufacturer I just uh, generate a random week a random unique number and then just copy that serial and then you want to save as SM BIOS go to your extra folder and it'll overwrite it you reboot and your serial number will be changed so it's just that easy if you can't get iCloud working then that's all you do it's very simple but I do have iCloud working now it's it's great you know the email is just very very fast uh, I'll go back to the main page here so here's iCloud, it, it has a gorgeous, very, very simple interface. Uh, my calendar's been syncing correctly. A lot of people have having problems with mail, but mine's been working perfectly. So maybe for now, you know, I'll probably drop out later. But um, iCloud is definitely working great, it just does work. I mean, I can't wait to get my 4S tomorrow. I just checked my shipping and it's in Kentucky, so it's pretty awesome. I'll definitely be getting it tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get my unboxing video uploaded tomorrow as well. But I do have work tomorrow, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But it depends how early they deliver it. So that, this is just a little update video, some tips. So like I said, um, let's see here. Try Stem 34. Uh, if you're watching this, just message me with the version you want, and I'll get you a key. And if I don't hear from you within a couple, like, 
uh, day or two, then I will contact you. So before this video gets any longer, thanks for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Go ahead and check out my other content if you're interested. Um, I'll definitely be having more content up in the coming days. Once again, I apologize for my cold, and um, I look forward to uh, having my iPhone. Lots of content there for you guys. So with that said, thanks for watching.